gonna say? Um, it's been pretty good, actually. Oh, I'm so sorry about your grandfather passing away. It really hit all of us hard. Okay. Thank you for your condolences. I need to go. No. <laughs> Do you have college plans? For <laughs> college, I don't need that. Yes, I do. Do I? Uh, I mostly live in the present, so it's not much of a concern for me. There's a possibility. Do you have? Wait. Do you have? There's a possibility. There's a possibility. What? There's a possibility. There's a possibility. I felt like questions came up one after another. It was tough to answer some of them be because they weren't about me. They're about the company. What do you think will happen with the company now that your grandfather has passed? It's kind of hard to say. I'm not an executive or anything. I don't really I care. I'll get back on track soon. But what do you think of the philanthropy? What do you think will happen? I'm trying what to. What do you think of the this... philanthropic policy the company has? So, I'm thirsty. If it were up to me, I would be more concerned about the profits. It would be concerned. Do you think Can you please look what up do you the think word of the philanthropic, philanthropic policy the company has? Plastic? I forgot what the meaning was. What is it? Wait, hold on. What do you think of the philanthropic policy the company has? Philantic. Not philantic. Philanthrop philanthropic. Philanthropic. Nah, I can't. I can't. Here is some Hi information wait, about Atlanta. Called? Atlanta is the capital of the U.S. state of Georgia. P H I L A L A N N T H R O T H R O P I C. P I. Uh, plant. Seeking to promote the the welfare of others, especially my, especially by donating money to the good causes and genera, generous and beneficial. Okay, so helping other people. Uh, it's a policy that reflects my own values, so I think it's so I personally think it's great. Do you think the company should expand from just toys? It's, it's a possibility. It's a possibility, yeah. Let's not give any straight answers. Eventually, the question stopped, and I was back to being myself. Naomi and Suzu were mingling in the crowds, and the incubi were doing their jobs. So I was all alone in a room full of strangers. It was unnerving to think about, but at least I wasn't being questioned left and right anymore. Suddenly, through my, through my mom pushed her pushed her way through the oh, crowd. Oh, I bet me. it's the CEO's son. Yep, bringing along, along something I didn't know. Honey, I'd like to introduce yep. you to someone. This kind wait, of wait, 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 Sorry, I had to look something up. Okay, Wait. okay. What are we okay. looking up? Okay, we'd be polite, but we... Okay, sorry, I had to look... No, it's nothing related. Okay. Okay, so... The first... Um, sorry. Sorry, guys, my fault. Uh, okay. We're gonna we're gonna see who this man is. I wanna see how hot he is. No. No, he looks like Sam! Damn! With my mother stood a man who looked only a couple years older than me. He smiled and held out his hand to me, I silently asking for my hand. Hi, I'm Andrew Lewis. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Anderson. Nope. We're James all the way. Fuck this. Place. We're gonna be nice and place his hand in his. We're gonna I shake his said... hand. Okay, yeah, sure. As I placed my hand in his, he raised it to his lips and kissed my hand, kissed my knuckles. I felt my face burned slightly at the gesture and she smiled at me before releasing my No, we my don't hand. like this fucktard! Why am I why am I blushing? We don't like this fucktard. I'm honored to be invited here. Why are we blushing for? We're not Sorry, blushing, it's flushed. Over. We're not blushing at all. My mother smiled at both of us, which made me slightly concerned. Why was she excited to introduce me to Andrew? So, um, you organized this party very well, Miss Anderson. Thank you, but it was my servants that did that. <laughs> I guess we have to say thank you. Yeah, thank you. We're trying to be You're polite. You're welcome. Praise is very much deserved. But I, I... 
well, at least he's nice. He's proper. Yes, but we don't like this. We don't like him. Andrew then chuckled nervously, bringing a soft fist. In so wait, saw bringing a soft fist to his lips to cover his laugh properly before smiling at me. I'm sorry if I seem a little forward. <laughs> I've just been excited to meet Harold Anderson's no. granddaughter. No, 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 no. Huh? Why? He used to talk about you all the time in the office on how you helped him refine his toys. I only attended meetings and heard all of the stories. You've helped a lot with the success of the company without <laughs> having to actually work there. <laughs> I don't like you, Andrew. I'm really biased. I just want James. Oh, wow. I didn't know he talked about me. That would explain everyone's fascination with me and their rather personal questions. I looked at I looked to Andrew, who had a kind face to me. Something about him seemed off, and I didn't know what it was. He seemed to be hiding something. Whether it was good or bad, I wasn't able to find out. I was not it's gonna able. be bad. It's gonna be bad. I felt someone walked beside me, causing me to turn to them. Next to me was my dad, giving me his cold stare to Andrew, who suddenly became tense. I would too. I don't. I don't so fucking like either Jared's of them. So your Jared's son. Oh, so we Jared's son. Andrew's body twitched slightly, whether it was fear twitched. or- Wait, that word triggered me. Twitched? His twitch. <laughs> Ever- I have- I, I literally have only seen like a- like one or two people twitch in my entire life. And it's like twitch? It's like weird. Whether it was fear or insult, Andrew locked his eyes with my father. I couldn't help but feel the tension between them. It irked me how fragile the air had become, enough to break at the wrong word. You're the one who wants to be the next CEO of the Anderson Company. Oh, that's fucked hard. That's what he wants. He wants the company. It's her company. I stared at Andrew. This guy wants to take my grandfather's place as CEO. I thought the vice chairman wanted the position. 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 David, leave the poor boy alone. I the mom's probably like, yeah, she should just marry this guy. Skills. Fuck off. Nothing I hate either of them now. I'm merely testing the boys' conversational skills. Nothing wrong with that. Of course not, I sir. Guess. And polite as this well. This lying bitch. Interesting. Yes. Even his dad yeah. has. Even her Sorry, dad. I had to put something out. <laughs> if you'll excuse me. Quickly, Andrew retreated from his from my family into the crowd of people. Stay put. Follow him. Don't. I don't want to stay put. But I don't want to follow him either. Stay put. I hate him. I watched as he disappeared into the crowd towards the back of the house. I was worried, but I gave him. His I don't want to have anything to do with this fucktard. <laughs> but if we did we follow him, if we did follow him, we don't know what he was gonna do in this house. Doesn't matter. No, the the incubi will stop him if something happens. He obviously needed it. <laughs> He's not CEO material. He literally just ran away from her dad. But her, she's just been dealing with her dad, her dad, and her attitude the entire time that she's been alive. So she would be really good with like bitchy people, like or talking with business people that's because you practically interrogated the young man oh shut up you don't give her an excuse i hate i hate all these people damn a little questioning shouldn't have bothered him he's obviously not ready for any title in our company well damn i really want to hear what the sounds of him talking i bent my tongue i didn't want to make a scene with my dad one one wrong word and he lectures me in front of everyone. That was not something that I wanted at my house wedding party. I would say, Bye bitch, get out of my house You'd be like, Incubi, throw this man out of my house. I do not want him in my house again. Goodbye. Oh, and I would I would go on up to my room. I let out a sigh before looking at the clock. It was close to midnight, meaning that the party was going to end soon. Did they even have dinner? No, I think it was more of like a cocktail party. I lowered my gaze out of the window, and I saw a limo pulled up. Huh? Whose limo is that? Hmm? Oh, that must be Lewis's car. I'll go get him. Stay with your father so you can escort your guests out together. Yes, mom. My mother left with my dad and 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 me sl to slowly escort the guests out. Excuse me, I had a burp. 
My dad held his simple smile <laughs> as he thanked he each person for coming. I did the same. Andrew quickly passed the doors before I could speak. Eventually, only Zuzu, Naomi, my parents, and the incubi were left. My dad suddenly walked over and placed a hand on my shoulders with a smile. I stared up at him with a wave of confusion washing over my face. What? You did good tonight. I'm proud. Oh, I can't. This bitch is only proud of and it benefits him. Um, oh, uh, thank you, Dad. Keep it up and you'll be a good CEO. Wow. Oh. It's your... Caitlin. Oh, right. All right. Your mother and I have to leave. I'm sure Naomi and Suzu need to leave as well. Just we got a it's Saturday doesn't mean you should stay up all night. And he's back to being a fucktard. We got a uh, achievement unlocked. A dad's approval. I like we fucking needed it. Ew. Ooh, right. Thanks for having us. It was we'll a great party. Again. We'll come visit tomorrow or something. All right. These bitches don't better not come back tomorrow, or something is correct. Right. See ya. Good night, sweetie. Come visit us soon. No, thank you. No. You know what? She needs to get the fuck out of this town with the incubi. That's what she needs to do. She needs to get the fuck out. <laughs> Will do, you say? Will do. All four of my remaining guests left the building. All but my dad waving back to me with the last of the guests gone. I sigh and sat on the staircase, exhausted. Phew, that was tiring. It's not like you had to do any work, though. <clears throat> I fucking hate Sam, and Sam looks like the other guy. I don't remember his name. He was irrelevant. Give her a break, man. She was getting interrogated left and right. Yes, Matthew. Be the little brother she wants. She handled herself the best she could. I love Damien. <laughs> I love this I the on the left. As expected. I love Eric. I, lo I like Eric the most, though. Eric, I like Eric is the second to to James. Mm -hmm. Sam is last because Sam is Sam is fucked up. Since Matthew is third. Dam third and we third is him. tied between Damien and Matthew, and then Sam is last. James saying, since you're exhausted, why not head up to bed so we can clean up? We can clean up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Sam! Push Sam. No one wants to hear from you in your mouth. Or any part of you, in fact. Are you guys sure? Positive. It shouldn't take long. Ho ho ho! It didn't take long to find you little shits after Oh all. fuck, who's this? Question mark, question mark, question mark? Wait. Ho ho ho! Okay, I felt a hot... Shudder ran down my spine. The voice from my dreams echoed through the air into my ears. I looked around in panic alongside one of the incub incubi. James placed a hand on my shoulder, Amen. trying to remain calm. Don't worry. No one will hurt you. What about you? <laughs> Are you sure? Are you really sure? Oh, God. Damn. All of us shot our heads next to the doors, finally pinning down the the direction of the voice. The, the doors quickly swung open, revealing a sight I would have never expected to see. Sk skin red as blood, eyes black as black and golden pierced into mine. Rugged up clothes with a pistol in his hand, I saw a monster. You. I covered my mouth not to scream at the sight. Dry blood covered the bandana around his neck and smirked at me and the boys around me. Besides, the red-skinned man was similar to looking to the, in the matching thug-like clothes. Aw, oh, what's the matter, boys? You really didn't think I wouldn't find you, did you? I hoped you would, you piece of... Oh. All of a sudden, the man raised his gun at Sam's face and instantly pulled the trigger. <laughs> I mean, I didn't like him, but I don't think Pop. he deserved to be killed. Pop goes the weasel. We all gasped and shocked. 
inst instinctively expecting to see a bullet run through Sam's face, but... Hey, pause, pause, mine! What the fuck? Pegar a menina? Yeah. Pegar a menina? Yeah. Tá bom, tchau, beijo, te amo. Tchau. Sorry, my mom was leaving, I had to say bye. Okay. So nothing happened to him. It's just something shock, expecting to pull it through Sam's face, but... What? What the fuck? My reaction. What? It's it was her. She has a, she probably has a power so like around like love of humans or something like. And maybe she, it was just him because he's supernatural. Or lucky, I don't know something like that. What should have been a headshot ended with a loud, with a loud but empty blank shot. The pistols echoed its empty shots as the man grew more and more pissed, the, pulling the trigger over and over again. And, what is this word? Aggravation. 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 That's what it is. Luckily for my ears, it became quieter after its first shot. Why the fuck won't you work? This place is protected. What did you say, shrimp? This place has a seal, protecting it from hellborn magic. Oh my god, this just got hella confusing. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Well, he's gonna clarify with us. The, the man growled and threw his gun at Sam, who was able to dodge it in time. The pistol bounced off the ground a couple times before sliding further away, hitting the wall in the final stop. It, as it stopped moving, the gun faded into a black flame that disappeared into the air. Well, damn. The previous mm -hmm. owner had this place protected by magic, Malix. Her grandfather? She knows. He... Her grandmother knew something. Malix was his name. Its existence restored in, in my memory from the dream I had. However, I looked to Matthew in the same confusion as Malix did. This place is protected by magic? <laughs> it would seem that your grandfather had some sort of protective barrier around this house. From the looks of it, it only disables hellborn magic. <sighs> Malik's face grew to that of extreme anger, his fists tightening as if he was crushing a stress ball. What's stopping me from dragging your asses out and shooting you then? Out of pure instinct, I stepped forward and placed myself between Malix and the boys. With no power, Malix wasn't going to fight. I took that chance to stand up to him instead of being powerless like I was in the dream. Oh, go me! Wait, can we stop here for today? Oof. And then we'll, finish, we'll, we'll, we'll do more next time? Sure. We could do this as a... As a, as a cliffhanger. Uh, cliffhanger, yeah. I'm tired. I think I want to take a nap. So, apparently, we're going to stop it here, guys. Because I'm tired. We're tired. <laughs> Jake is just like, it's Caitlin's fault. <laughs> yes. Yes. And I hope you enjoyed the, the that gameplay. Thank you, Caitlin, for after a year. <laughs> a long yeah. year. Yep. And I hope you like, comment, and subscribe to see more. Hopefully next year. <laughs> we'll do it tomorrow. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow, hopefully. And I will see you all next time. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>